Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome back to a brand new month. How is it November already? Where has October gone? Has anyone else felt like October is just, it literally flew by, flew by. I feel like it's September and October to be fair. But anyway, we've literally got two months left of the entire year, 2023. <laughs> crazy and we are very much on the lead up to Christmas so today I thought we would have a bit of a reset type day I want to take down all my kind of Halloween and autumn decorations pop them away in storage maybe have a sort through and maybe look to donate some I'm probably going to have about a week or so's break before I even think about the Christmas decor because I do like to have that break to just allow me to get on top of the housework clean the spaces kind of like just settle after autumn and then think afresh with Christmas which is so exciting I'm all for it now I feel like I'm done with the autumn deco I'm ready to get going but anyway yeah so that is on the agenda for today I'm not sure I might pop out at some point maybe go to a farm shop not sure yet we'll see where the day takes us might even vlog over a couple of days yeah I'm not sure I'm just gonna see where this vlog goes Maybe have a couple of monthly favourites in there as well, like I like to do at the start of every month. So yeah, I hope you guys are good. Let me know in the comments, how is everybody? Have you started your Christmas shopping yourself? Make sure you are set and ready with a nice cosy drink. Oh, listen. Can you hear the pitter patter on that? Hello, sweet boy. Hi, are you coming to say hello? Hello. Hi guys. Um, yeah, we've still got the painters yet to finish the banister. So that was his feet walking along that map. Was it? I'm trying to vlog here. I'm trying to vlog. You can't sit on my lap. You are not a lap dog. You sit down. I'm just gonna show the people some new clothes that I've got from Hilara, which is a very exciting. I've worked with Hilara a few times actually, and put in an order myself as well and yeah I'm really impressed with the quality would recommend to everyone I do have a discount code with them as well it's Freya F15 that will get you 15% off I'll leave links to everything I'm about to share with you down in the description box below but if you don't know Halara is an online fashion website that very much does um I would say at least the majority of the clothes that I pick from their website are athleisure my leggings my crop tops my yoga trousers those kind of things that you can kind of do workouts in light workouts in full-blown workouts or like me just chill around the house dog walks running errands that kind of thing that's my kind of go-to for Halara anyway when I have a look at their website but yeah they've got um a range in particular I'll show you those leggings first actually but it's called patter off which is a technology they use having a golden retriever that comes in very handy whereby it's kind of like anti dog fur fluff literally as it's called pat it off they, they do loads of different styles and lengths and shapes and sizes and colors but this pair in particular that I've gone for are just a plain black and they've actually got a little crossover which I find is a really flattering cut on the waist so like a capri I would prefer to wear these doing yoga or going for a run or something I quite often like to have a shorter leg length. These are in a medium. I would say stay true to size with Halara. I'm like a UK 10 typically. Okay, these ones I'm really excited for. These are the Cloudful range, which are in the ribbed fabric as well. So again, this one has this crossover detail. It's in this gorgeous chocolatey brown color and they are the flared leggings. So very much duping some of those higher end brands that you see out there. These are much more affordable, but the quality is certainly not compromised. It's nice and thick and supportive. Definitely not sheer. You guys know I'm quite particular with my leggings. I would typically wear these with a nice cozy cream knit jumper, throw a pair of Uggs on or for just chilling around the house. So, so comfortable. Again, these ones are in a medium. Okay, I'll show you this pair 
hair. Now this is a different range that they do. This is called the So Cinched range. So I would say this one's more supportive if you prefer a more cinched in silhouette figure and support with your legging then i would recommend this style in particular it's got the added pockets on the side of the leg the color of this one is called dawn brown it's like a really nice taupey mushroomy kind of color this one actually comes in three different leg lengths it comes in the capri but i've got the seven eighths leg length which is just for me that perfect length to have a slight not cropped legging but they sit quite nicely on my ankles otherwise they do have the full length ones as well this is the same kind of ribbed crossover flared legging but this one is in a black in a medium it's got this little hidden kind of pocket um, at the top of the waistband so that you can pop again anything that you need to in there this next pair of leggings is in the color chestnut brown so again really nice and like a warm toned neutral for this time of the year this one is one of the ones with pockets again the cloud full range super super soft buttery soft feeling on your skin honestly these are literally like a second skin I do also have one other pair in another color and it's this green pair I do love a green legging especially for my dog walks and running and just like the other ones except this color is in the burnt olive I did get one pair of joggers actually this time which are just plain black they've got like a pocket detail on the back these ones in a medium these ones have this option to cinch in the bottom that's super comfortable quite thick as well so good for the wintry months however i do think for comfort i would probably size up in these ones then i did get some sports kind of tops crop tops bras that kind of thing but before i show you those one other kind of wild card option that i got from halara which i wouldn't ordinarily go for is this kind of like bomber style jacket i just thought again it's duping the high street brands with which know how to charge and I just think this is really smart really nice it's in a plain black with the pockets like popper buttons this one I got in a medium okay so as for tops I did just get black and white I'll just whiz through these options and talk you through some of my favorites so this one I already have and love as it's just simple basic strappy could be worn as a sports bra could be worn as a top it's just called the in my feels basic padded yeah it's got removable padding as well in white in a medium and then the other white one that i got looks like so it's more i would say like a longer line so that you could wear it more as a top this one again it's got the removable cups and it's got this kind of cut out detail at the back racer back style as well in a medium and this is that same cloud full fabric that i love so much so that i got that exact same top in the black version as well this one is also slightly longer um, more top like tank top style workout top but it's got this really nice crossover detail on the back i also got a long sleeve option again for something a little bit different rarely do i wear these because i get too hot running around walking the dog running the dog whatever we end up doing workout wise we even totally just wear this as nice top and a jeans type outfit for drinks so i got that one in a medium and then last but not least i got this top which again has um, a slightly longer line to it so it's not just a bra i would wear this as a top and it's also got that kind of square neck crisscross detail on the back and also a couple of other back strap kind of panels so that it's basically backless and this one again is that cloud full fabric super soft comfortable couldn't recommend them enough guys honestly Halara for sure is a place to check out if you haven't already and whilst I have that discount code why not check it out today so I'll leave them linked below those items that I shared with you I'll also leave that code which is freya15 for a discount off 15% off Happy shopping guys, let me know if you do pick up anything yourself or if you have already known and loved Hilara like me for a while now, let me know. So without further ado, I feel like we're going to head on downstairs. In fact, I actually need to pop to the post office. I need to do that this morning. I might even take a walk with Barney um, over there, although it looks like it's about to rain. So we'll see. Come to the water where you will find peace. Take a step into the river, get down on your knees. Come to the mountain, we'll take it in the view. You will find the life is greater than.
looking at me shattered at the point of no return you pick up the pieces and you let the bridges burn so come to the water you're sailing with the breeze take a step into the river where you will find peace where you go through the storm Good morning, it's the next day. Good morning, Barney, it's bright and early. You can tell from the blue light, it's a little bit dark outside. But it is the next day, yesterday by the time, hold on, let me try and change this blue, there we go. By the time I spent yesterday um, putting away all the autumn bits, I was kind of like just prepping a little bit for Christmas decorations, seeing what I've got where and sorting out the storage room a little bit and also just kind of deciding what I want to do in terms of tree and anything like that. I was speaking to Tom because obviously he's going away um, early November. So I need his help before he goes because I want to decorate whilst he's gone. So I need help deciding, um, not deciding, bringing down the tree uh, or bringing up the tree I should say because it's actually down in the storage room. Need him to help me do that <coughs> before he goes. Anyway, so we're just bright and early up this. My vitamins. In fact, I'm gonna take it into the kitchen right now and take take my supply. I do still have the discount code with them if you are interested in trying out some vitamins from my vitamins. I think it's sprayer. Yes, at the minute I'm taking my hair, skin and nail, my gut gummies, my magnesium, my D3 and my ashwagandha. So anyway, on today's agenda is, um, my dad's actually coming over later on today. He's got something that he's going to in, well it's at Old Trafford. So he's gonna be doing that. He's gonna come over this afternoon and spend the afternoon with us, spend the night here after his event and then we'll go for a nice walk in the morning with with him, go to the bakery or something. But yeah, that's the plan for today, well, later on today. So this morning, I thought um, I want to prep again, like it's all prepping for Christmas here. I want to, hold on one second. Uh, what was I saying? I want to, um, <laughs> God, my post too early. All prepping for Christmas. I want to make sure I'm set and ready for my gift guide videos, which I'm gonna film this weekend, ready for upload um, as the next videos for you guys to watch, which is so exciting. So we're gonna start, I think, we're gonna start with my gift guide for her. Then we're gonna do for him next week and stocking fillers, secret Santas, smaller presents, that kind of thing, also next week. So that's on the agenda, but also after that, I want to do a dedicated b and gift guide because they seem to be a popular one i think a lot of you guys like to head to b and because they have so many great gift options so i'm also going to do that this morning i'm going to go and buy and shop for that i won't obviously show you the gifts that i pick up for the gift guide but i will take you around and anything that i see but maybe don't buy for the gift guide or just have a little mooch around b and with you so i'll take you there this morning first things first though i think we need to head out for a walk with Mr. Barney Boo, and it is big coat season. And it's cold outside, so I'm gonna pop on 
this new crab. Oh, are you tired? You're not tired, you're raring to go. I'm gonna pop on this coat that I got from, I think I've shown it before. Yeah, I have when I went pumpkin picking and all this. It's from Crag Hoppers and it's this like Thermapro range. So it's water resistant, it's not fully waterproof, but it doesn't look like it's rain. Famous as well as I read it's gonna um, rain well on the wall this morning, but it's warm and that's the most important thing, isn't it? Because finally we have some cold weather ready for I'm a Celebrity to start. I keep seeing them teasing the lineup. In fact, when does it even start? Should we have a look? I'm obviously filming this, because this video is going live on the 1st of November. It's actually the very end of October for me right now. So let's have a look. It just says in November. Um, so I don't think they've released a date yet. They might have by the time this video is up. Hmm, ITV have released a trailer saying that it won't be long. So if Josie Gibson goes on, my god i remember the days of her being in big brother and she had that little like relationship with that was he australian that australian guy i can't remember his name but who remembers those days anyway let's head out for a walk and then to be in it I always think these make a great little gift, especially like little stocking fillers. They've got the Lotus Biscoff brownie baking kit and then they've also got the Nutella chocolate chip cookie. And then they've also got, I can see, some of their kind of like hot chocolate sets that they do every year. They're slightly different, um, but yeah, I think that one's probably the best value for money. We've got a couple of syrups in there, but then you also get this little topper. And of course, whilst I'm at B&M, we're going to have a quick obligatory look down Hinch's Isle. This is Hinch. Oh, in fact, they've got some Christmas Eve floras. They've got the vanilla and amber, which is a fave. What else have they got? Ooh. Cranberry and orange. And then a big one of the winter spice. I might pick up one of these, actually. I get the vanilla and amber. Hmm, decisions, decisions. I do need to get some bleach whilst I'm here, which is down here. The Harpic Pine is my fave. Absolute riveting content here. You're all here to see the gifts. Well, that's what I told you anyway. So let's go find them. Let's go find the Christmas section. <laughs> So we're just on the kind of like cozy throws and cushions aisle of which I have to say, I think a good like cozy cushion. I remember these from last year. These ones actually say cozy on them. So adorable in this kind of like sheep's boucle type fabric. But yeah, I actually think a nice throw especially is a nice gift idea as well. Um, that's new, that like stag one. But anyway, I'm on the end of the aisle and I just spotted these kind of like cozy edition gifts little gift sets these hot water bottles um where you get a mug you get some hot chocolate i particularly like that one the cream one um and then what else do they have just different colors they've got this little candle and matches duo set for six pounds all the kind of festive home fragrance bits as well that they're doing this year are really really good um i'll show you actually some white company dupes that i've found as well just having a look at these though. Gingerbread cookie scented tea lights. They've got this winter indulgence range, which I have tried. It's like an oud, vanilla oud scent. Really, really kind of rich and nice. Oh, in fact, it's these as well that I've tried. The Domestos bleach in that winter indulgence scent. Just before I get to the other gifts, I've not seen this before. It's from their winter harvest kind of home decor range and it's like a fake wood pot seven pounds but the actual scent of it spiced woods i love that kind of woody scent yeah not spotted that one before so i thought i would uh, just show you although i do have plenty of candles for 
winter lined up. Seeing that they're doing quite a lot of kind of like food hampers, they've got these larger ones. The deluxe one is 25 and then the luxury one where you can see everything that you get in there is 20. In the deluxe food one, that's what you get. But yeah, they've got some like mini smaller ones as well where it's just little boxes of crackers or I have picked up one, so you'll see it in the gift guide. But in terms of like actual huge hamper, I think these are pretty good value for money. So I'm down the, oh, here we go. There's a couple here that you can see the different kind of like smaller foodie hamper type options that you've got. I also saw these, they're only four pounds and they've got three different ones. They've got mold wine spices, hints pie gift set where you get a couple of like cookie cutters, pastry cutters. And then the Christmas cookie set. I'm trying to resist, but there's a few that I'm like, oh, might just have to fall in my basket and make the excuse that I'm doing it for a gift guide, you know? Um, one other thing that I was gonna mention, which I've already passed now, so I won't go back, but they've got some, I think they're 30 pounds, 35, some electric blankets. Um, amazing gift idea to have like a cozy blanket on the sofa when it's been really cold so nice oh these are new don't think i've seen these before cadbury delicious chunk collection so you've got white dairy milk and whole nuts tree decorations this to me is my childhood we always had mum if you're watching we always had christmas tree toppers decorations that were chocolate and i loved that these are delicious if ever you've tried them in fact i might have to yeah i might have to get them all well, these are fun candy cane smarties they've got these which are great for like if you want to make a, an actual big pile of presents these sort of big tubes are always great because they just take <laughs> they just take up so much space they do oreo ones as well i think and pot noodles they've got party rings over there is it just me or is this a new flavor of matchmakers this again we used to always get matchmakers at christmas mint or orange and then they brought out the honeycomb but i've not seen this flavor before caramel coffee guys i can't help myself i am in the christmas section and spending far too long in here, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, that's good. A little personalized me bone. Um, I actually picked this up already. I just feel like this will look good on my kind of random decor, nostalgic decor, fun decor tray, which I think we're gonna have in the kitchen. Oh, I like him as well. £2.50. What's he holding though? It's music. I feel like he's meant to be a composer, but that seems a very long, um, composer stick whatever they call it and this traditional red is pulling me in this year I am going to go and see if I can get the lettered um, oh here we go here they are the lettered sacks and stockings this year in this gorgeous I've seen these before and I've just thought you know what I'm gonna have to they are stunning this beige is like perfect like a champagne gold or kind of like anti antique brassy gold actually so it'll go well in our front room in the black room under the balsam hill tree and then they do the stockings as well the lettered stockings so i'm gonna see they look pretty well stocked i'm gonna see if i can see the right letters also they're wrapping this year stunning i've already shown this design and i just absolutely love it i might even pick up another one of these bags um, I didn't see that one last time, but that kind of goes well quite nicely with this design. So maybe I'll pick up one of those as well. Um, but yeah, they've got that design in the crackers. They've got some wrapping paper. Yeah, they've got the little Santa baby bags. They honestly have so many nice designs. They've got the more woodland green and brown papered ones. And then this side, oh, this is a dupe, guys. This is just like the white company bell that they do. I think theirs is eight pounds. This one is only three. And then these are very much like the white company baubles as well. This one's only two pounds 50. So I have already got one of these um, from TK Maxx or HomeSense. However, I think mine was about 14 pounds 12 to 14 pounds so this at five pounds had i known this was here i would have gone for this one instead because i just like how it's not very glittery it's just all white this is a cute little 
light up sleigh again i've already got one of these wooden safes i got from yes last year it's a little bit bigger than that as well um well in fact it's quite a bit bigger than that i think i if i remember rightly i popped it at the bottom of the tree last time but um yeah could even do like a little mini hot chocolate station in the kitchen and pop this on there the fact that it lights up is just an added bonus does it work oh there we go you can see it i think this is another good gift idea we've got the theragun one but oh, it's actually a mini one this is like a dupe for the larger one that they do and this one's only 20 pounds we've got a massaging neck wrap as well that's only 10 pounds so we have got a tree skirt for our um balsam hill tree like a wooden one but i'm just thinking if we're having a real tree in the kitchen we're gonna have to get something for the base of it i might regret doing this but i think i'm gonna wait maybe until it's up to then buy one. I just feel like if I do that, they just, I won't be able to find one. Plus I really love that beige color. I'm being drawn to this one a lot more. Oh, guys, I don't know. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. Another little dupe of the white company ones that they do their um, faux feather wreath decorations that they do. This one is three pounds. I quite like these actually, these letters. This one's more of like a silvery section, but They've got these in a heart shape as well and you can see them at the back quite like the star though but like a little jingly bell two pound fifty what else have they got and a cute little penguin did anyone else used to watch pingu i absolutely loved pingu didn't even speak but loved it i kind of love that it reminds me of pingu another white company dupe of their botanical candles these ones are six pound i have seen in other stores they do different scents as well i do love the look of this candle i've already seen this before with the little sleigh top i just think that is so cute five pounds but smelt it and it doesn't really smell of anything so they've got these sets i love this wooden acacia surfboard with the little star at the top and then this design they've got in mugs bowls plates £2.50 for that one and then lastly the Christmas tree shaped one £4 this is the mug version Nordic winter stag mug that matches that same plate and then they've also got these plates for £5 I have one like this actually that I got last year or maybe even the year before and I'm pretty sure it's from Primark. They've also got loads of pet bits. They've actually got more, which um, I've seen towards the pet aisle, but then they've got this whole section here just dedicated to pets. Look at this scarf. Oh my God, that just would not fit Barney at all. And then I think the last thing I'm probably gonna share with you for now is their Anthropology dupe mugs that they've got this year. They've got these letter mugs in red, green, and blue. However, they're usually around £15. These ones are £3.50. Good little stocking filler or something you can create a little kind of bespoke DIY foodie hamper or hot chocolate cozy hamper with them. So my trolley is absolutely full to the brim, ready to head home, ready to film a gift guide literally tomorrow, although I'm not. I'm going to save it until after I've done my other ones, but we're all done. Hold on, I can't control this trolley with one hand. I definitely still have a B&M haul to share with you today though, because I've got some bits that I haven't got for necessarily for my gift guide. So I'll show you those bits when I get home. But I think guys, that's me done. Look at me in the DIY section, definitely don't need to be down here. Let's head home. Well, that was a success. I feel like I'm all shopped out for B&M today anyway. Whew, um loaded up the boots so many gift ideas this year i'm gonna head back home i'm gonna show you the bits that i did pick up i am also gonna do a little bit of christmasing sprucing up the filming room i think my my like filming room wardrobe room because for those gift guide videos i want a little tree in the background so i had a delivery from cox and cox and they very kindly sent me this tree which i cannot wait to unbox so i'm gonna put that in that room i think and that will be like a mini bit of christmas decoration background for before i decorate for christmas but in time for my filming my gift guide videos so we'll go do that as well i need to stop waffling and telling you what i'm doing and actually do it <laughs> so let's go home we're back oh i'm back 
this one. It's mine. Hi. We know properly. Oh, tongue right in the mouth. <laughs> How lucky am I? Right, so I'm just going to go in the front room just to show you guys the what I picked up from B&M. Oh, we've just had a bit of a busy morning sorting through a boiler that didn't seem to work last night. We couldn't get it working and it was freezing. But it's back on. This room still feels quite cold, so I feel like we need to... Whoa, kisses! We need to make sure that we're back in the warmth again, even in this room. Oh, you're just the best cuddle buddy ever. Are you gonna sit on my lap? Yeah. You can just plunk yourself there, okay? Need to get the bits to show the B&M haul. Ooh, Christmas is coming. Okay, I think it's time for that to take a call. Let me just close that door for a second whilst Tom's on the phone. Oh no, Tom, Tom wants to come in. Barney wants to come in. Are you coming in? Let's keep the door shut because Daddy's on the phone. So yeah, lots of gift guide bits, but I'll just show you the bits that I did pick up that aren't gift guide. So vermouth, pet hair dissolver for the wash. I think I've got a couple of those actually, and then I've got these to try. Um, the washing machine cleaner in the lemon scent and then also the dishwasher so we've got two dishwashers so i've got one for each that i'm just going to run these through just so that i've done it because those are the sort of things that i just forget about but because they're there i'm going to go and do it straight away so that it's done and then pop these downstairs as well which i picked up the fairy non-bio pods so i needed a laundry stock up so i also got some fabric conditioner my favorite one the outdoorables from fairy so i got another one of those pet hair dissolvers in my eye a couple of other cleaning essentials I've got some harpic pine this is new i've not seen this one before from elbow grease washing up liquid it's in gingerbread scent so for christmas i thought that'd be quite good oh yes yeah, spicy got quite a few stock up of treats for barney some dentist sticks some of these Sizzlers, also one of his fave cheese bones. Got some bin bags, a couple of festive snacks to delve into today. And then last but not least, this was like 49p or something and I thought it sounded quite nice. It's coatings for roasties. So it's like a seasoning for roast potatoes. I do like the M&S one. I know we do actually have the M&S one. Bunny, let's not have that on camera. Anyway, yeah, I do have the M&S one, which I love. I think I'm going to be in charge of doing roast potatoes on Christmas Day. And I wanted to give this one a try and give the M&S one a try and compare the two. Have a couple of practice runs in the lead up to Christmas with, like, roast dinners. So, yeah, blend a sea salt, black pepper and onion to produce the perfect roast potatoes. That's essentially all it is. I know what you're sat there patiently waiting for. You've seen the cheese shoe, haven't you? Or should we give you one of these? Ooh. What's this? Wow. What's that? Do we have to eat it on here in the rug? Yeah, well, he's committed now. I'm going to grab the two boxes that I have from Cox and Cox. Let me just see how big they are. This is one of the items. This the tree and then I've got a couple of baskets so that this tree can go in one of the baskets but also they have these on their website which um I got for gift wraps I guess you could use these for like different they're basically metal hanging stars that you could use as decoration I'm thinking as little present toppers or even like to go around a napkin if you're doing some kind of tie around a napkin for christmas day yeah i thought they were really pretty that antique brass is just lovely
Christmas tree is up. I'll show you that in just a second. I just wanted to mention um, whilst making a quick coffee or something. Do I want a coffee or a hot chocolate? Do you know what, actually, I fancy a tea. I'm gonna have a vanilla chai. Oh, what mug do I go for? Seeing as though it's now November, do we have a Christmas mug? <laughs> Yeah, I think we do. I've still got quite a lot in storage that I still need to get out for decorating. Oops. Let's go with this one, because it's kind of like autumn, winter. I thought I would just talk through um, a couple of monthly favorites. Lots to get this ready before heading back up to show you my Christmas tree, which is just it's too much, it's too much. A couple of TV shows, obviously Big Brother. I've mentioned that I'm watching that already and loving. Maths. I've been watching that as well, which is the first time that I've actually, one second, <laughs> the first time that I've actually given it my all and actually stuck with it, and I have been enjoying it. On Netflix, we watched Beckham documentary, we watched the Wagatha story, is that on Disney? Colleen Rooney? I actually binged that, that was so quick to watch, it was only about three episodes and I just watch them all back to back. On TikTok, this is such a random favourite, but on TikTok, I think it must be obviously algorithms. When you watch one video, you just then get, keep getting recommended the same one. But this, I'll see if I can find his name, but it's essentially just videos of people living um, or surviving out in the wilderness, like in the mountains and stuff, and just creating fire, building their tents, building their shelters. And I don't know why, but there's just something, it's kind of ASMR with the noises that they do this whole survival thing with it being freezing outside but then they make like the most wholesome like yummy food <laughs> like in the middle of a mountain i don't know it sounds crazy but it's basically like survival videos i just keep getting recommended and i keep watching them it takes me back to being in finland as well actually there's also a song that tom introduced me to it's one of his was it work friends or something that said oh this guy and then we've since heard his, his song being played on TikTok, so I don't know if he's gonna go huge or what, but it's just one song that he's done called Dylan something or other. The song is called Cole, C-O-A-L. If you search Cole Dylan, it will come up. And it's a real like country song. I think there is one or two other songs that he's done, but that one in particular is the one that we've then since heard on TikTok that just, every time we hear it, we look at each other and like, or play it, replay it, because I don't know, it's just a really good, wholesome, feel good song. I haven't, yes, I have started a new book. I was gonna say I haven't got any new book recommendations. Verity, I finally started Verity, and I'm about a third of the way in, quarter to a third of the way in, Tom's in the phone, he's coming down now. Um, loving it. Yeah. I managed to read that first third quite quickly in one go. So I feel like I can get the rest of the book done in just literally one or two sittings. This candle actually I wanted to talk to you guys about because I bought it. If you remember when I went to Bath and Body Works, this candle here I bought but I've not lit it until now. Oh, it's so good. Bergamot and Birch, one of the white barn scents. Probably one of my favourite candles that I've burnt in a long time. And it's um, scents of vibrant bergamot, black amber, birchwood. It smells to me like a man's fragrance. That's what it reminds me of. Or like Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce Cologne. That's what it smells like. Uh, really, really been loving burning that. There's only probably a quarter of that left, maybe a third. There was a sweet treat that I was going to recommend. And I did buy two boxes of them, but I'm not sure if we've eaten them. Let me just let Tom go back yeah. to yeah. Um, I, ha I bought two boxes. One of them will be in here somewhere, but I haven't unpacked yet. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, found them. Guys, these new Toblerone truffles, if you haven't tried them yet, incredible. Both Tom and I absolutely love these. We've demolished a whole box already. Um, I did, when I bought them, I bought two boxes because I thought, there's a good chance that I'm going to like these, and I'm so glad I did. The only thing is they're I was gonna say kind of pricey. I think they're about three pound fifty to four pounds per box. There, they remind me of um, similar size box to you know the Maltese truffles that they do, and they are quite similar. But these, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I must try. So I think I'm in love. <laughs> I absolutely adore this tree. I think this is the small one. I mean, if we're going off the height of me at five foot five, it's maybe 
six, it's not six foot. Maybe just under six foot, I'm not sure, but Cox and Cox do have two different sizes, I know that for sure, and I think this is the smaller one. The basket that they had though, it was like, the way that they styled it, they didn't have them in stock, because otherwise I would have probably gone for the other ones. This one, because it's quite small, obviously you can see quite a lot of the wire, I'm not really sure how else to hide that. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is, isn't it? How can I, I don't know, how can I hide that? I, I feel like I can't. I feel like it's just gonna have to sit there like that. But anyway, um, yeah, so the basket that they have sent, it's like a two pack, so there's a smaller one as well. And then the baskets that they used were more like a wicker kubu style. So when they come back in stock, I may be tempted to buy them. But that one still looks lovely. I just think it's very warm toned, whereas the kubu wicker tends to be quite cool toned. So. I feel like it will go with this tree a lot better, but it's gorgeous. The way that it's like just dusted with snow. So pretty, and obviously it's pre-lit as well, which just makes things so much easier. I did come home to a couple of parcels that I thought I would share with you firstly from Neptune, uh, the brochure. Um, they've got their stories. Their latest one is volume 18, and it's very aesthetic gorgeous cover but it's also got some really nice recipes and like housey inspo in here where was the recipe that i saw plum blackberry and maple crumble if you've got a glimpse of that before i just lost it slow roasted aubergine with butternut squash crispy lentils and roasted garlic harissa yogurt i feel like these are still quite awesome i wonder if they'll bring out another Christmassy brochure they've got their current autumn winter directory 2023 in there potter's pink color to be honest with you the potter's pink it's well i'm not a pink kind of person but i i feel like it kind of feels more spring summer does anyone else think that i feel like i'm waiting for a potential new color for winter maybe like a dark green or something which they have had a dark green before but we need something a bit more festive than pink don't we i also came home to a little pr package from Giorgio armani the eau de parfum intense range of C. I feel like C is just a classic scent that most people have either owned or liked or smelt or know of. Um, and then this is a recharge. That's interesting. So it looks like there's two 50 ml um, containers within here that you can use to refill your perfume. This actually came yesterday, but I thought I'd keep it to one side to share it with you today. And it's two coffee table books of which both of them make lovely gifts as well. This one, Oh, if I can open it up, is um, called, it's from Jake Arnold, and it's called Redefining Comfort, and I loved that cover, but also the inner cover is really nice. It's just simple chocolate brown and gold. So really nice and rich, even nice to use as decor for this time of the year. Full of interior design inspo. These are the kind of coffee table books that I'm drawn to, the interiors ones. This is from Rose Uniak at work it's called and i think she does one that's called at home as well take off this yellow cover because i won't keep that on um, and it's just a simple linen cover that is absolutely stunning just so simple and minimal and perfect kind of display coffee table book so yeah this one is the at work it says 100 canadian us dollars i didn't pay that much for this or maybe I don't know what the exchange rate is, but I'll leave this linked below anyway. I'll leave my Amazon storefront linked, which has all of my kind of fave coffee table books, home decor, Christmas decor. That first kitchen that I've just opened up on with the walk-in pantry to the side, look at the coving detail on the ceiling, if you can see that. And the old artwork, oh, the cabinetry amazing yeah so some gorgeous gorgeous interiors minimal eclectic there's that stuck up uh plaster venetian plaster i'm never sure which one they've used but um or even just lime wash paint that you get that kind of textured wall effect that i just love oh my gosh how nice would that be as a bathroom again that textured wall but also look at that vanity unit with the little basket that is beautiful i i think i'm gonna close off today's video here i feel like we over today and yesterday we have got plenty of footage plenty of content for you guys in the lead up and prep for christmas hello christmas tree christmas is coming starting in this room and it's going to filter out of this room soon jake's coming tomorrow to make sure we can get hot water what time 
Yeah. We've got hot water. It will run out. It's that time we're getting the hot water from. Oh no. Just jumping in here from the start of today's video as a friendly reminder to check out Halara and make sure to use my discount code FREAF15. And if you wanted to pick up anything from the start of this video that I showed you, I will leave the items linked in the description box. Thank you to them for working with me. Thanks to you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.